with uh, Spin Doctors here from at the AGM, New South Wales Geocaching AGM. Can you tell us uh, what were some of the outcomes that came out today? Well, I think first of all, um, you know, this is the end of our, our third year of uh, the association and it's been a, a great year for the association because we've pretty much consolidated our beginnings. We've got to a point now where uh, I think you know, we're a self-sustaining group. We have a, a good body of membership of uh, over 120 members um, in the association. Uh, we've, our finances are good and we've also um, had some major achievements in the last 12 months. Uh, the major one being the new uh, geocaching policy with New South Wales Parks and Wildlife Service. I think that's been a big win, not only for our association members, but for geocaches as a whole, because now geocaches can, can go out and hide can, uh, containers um, you know, with approval um, and without fear of them having removed. Can you talk a little bit about um, the arrangement that we have with the national parks? Yeah, so what we've done after two years of negotiation, we've, we've come to an agreement where um, if someone wants to hide a geocache in a national park, they now have to uh, basically get permission, which is what, as geocaches, we all should do anyway. Um, but uh, you can download a form from their, from their website. Um, you then get in touch with the local ranger, discuss where you want to hide the cache, and, and then get approval or feedback otherwise. Um, and once you've got that, then you can have it listed. Um, I think it's, it's, it's a big improvement on what we used to have, which was an outright ban. Um, and it also means that uh, you know, geocaches take ownership, complete ownership again, of their hides. And, and they're made accountable for making sure that they, they're up to a certain standard. So now that you've uh, success, successfully negotiated with the National Parks, what's the next step? Uh, well, the, the membership here today at the AGM agreed that now is probably the time to start discussions with New South Wales Police. We've seen a number of incidents around the world, particularly in the United States and the United Kingdom, even in, in New Zealand, where geocaches have caused disturbance because people have thought that they may have been a bomb or, or some other malicious object. So uh, we'd like to, you know, the membership over the next month or two to discuss amongst themselves how we might uh, approach New South Wales Police um, and what we can do so that we can prevent any major incidents occurring where it causes a great disturbance to the public because um, you know as geocaches we want to you know use the the world as our playing field but at the same time we don't want to cause mayhem for those uh, who live amongst us. So what are some of the other things that came out of the meeting? Where to now for example with the organisation? Look, I think most people are pretty happy with, with what we've been doing. We've provided a mix of different events and, and uh, different ways in which to share information because that's what it's all about. It's about sharing and getting together. And so I think we're going to, to do a lot more of that. Um, we had a big, um, a big turnout to our two what we call invasion events uh, down the south coast and up at Port Stephens. We want to do more of that as well to show that we are all about New South Wales, not just the Sydney Basin. So more of that, uh, more events and, and hopefully more interaction through our website and also just face to face. I think it's uh, we've built a great community of uh, members and non-members and hopefully we'll continue that over the next few years. So the association sounds like it's going well, how can people get involved? Okay, well the main way is through our website which is Geocaching New South Wales or NSW, geocachingnsw.asn.au. Um, we have a website there with contact information and, and bits and pieces about what we, what we do and who we are. Um, also we run events, as I say, about every two months around the state so certainly uh, everyone is welcome to come along to those. Uh, membership uh, is, is a one-off fee um, and you know you, you get a geocoin and other discounts and other you know, get-together benefits and so forth. So um, whilst you don't have to be a member, um, we'd certainly like you to have on board because the more people we have, the more ideas and the more voices we have to work with.